New question, the member from Oak Ridge's Markham. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My the question is for public, the right? Minister of Education. Minister, today is the International Day of Pink. This is an internationally recognized day against bullying, discrimination, and homophobia. I know all members in this House agree that there is no place for bullying in our schools, places of work, or communities. Minister, parents in my riding of Oak Ridge's Markham have been contacting me as they want to know that when they send their child to school, they are going to be learning in a safe and positive environment, free from discrimination and bullying. We know that in order for students to learn, they need to feel safe at school. Minister, what can I tell my constituents who want to know that their government is standing up to combat bullying in Ontario schools for Ontario students? Mr. Uh, an important question, and I know that uh, all members in this House have heard from constituents who are very concerned about bullying and uh, the fact that it's important that this government has taken action through our safe schools strategy legislation that was passed here. Uh, to deal with issues of bullying schools. And now we know, Speaker, that uh, bullying, for example, is uh, something in schools that students can be suspended for acts of bullying. And parents of students, both those who would be guilty of doing it and the students who would have been victims, must be notified. Uh, we continue, as a government, to work with our schools and school boards to increase that knowledge and understanding of bullying issues and to build capacity on how best to deal with these issues and ensure that they thank you supplementary thank you minister and i think we can all appreciate that bullying needs to be combated at the root cause which is primarily because of indifference misunderstanding and fear Minister, the roots where Day of Pink began was with two grade 12 students in Nova Scotia who stood up for a grade 9 student who was being bullied because he wore a pink shirt to school. Through the leadership of the grade 12 students, the next day the majority of the school population was wearing pink shirts to combat bullying. Because of their leadership, adults across Canada and around the world now wear pink as a symbol that bullying is not acceptable in any form. Speaker, this type of leadership is both inspirational and necessary to confront the important issue of homophobia in our schools. Minister, what can I tell parents in my riding that we are doing to work towards students no longer being targets? specifically of homophobic bullying in Ontario schools? Uh, well, Speaker, of course, homophobia is absolutely unacceptable. And to help exactly. combat homophobia in our schools, we have brought in the first equity and inclusive strategy that requires school boards to have policies in place to combat discrimination based on ra race, age, gender, disability, or sexual orientation. The member is absolutely right when she says that this is the type of leadership we need, the leadership that those students in Nova Scotia demonstrated. And that is why we have made very clear in our policy that student-led groups to deal with these issues must be allowed in schools where students have said this is what they want. We are committed to working uh, to build capacity to work with school boards and most definitely with students in our schools to deal with. Thank you.